in this particular session using the aid of a program i am going to show you something called as call by value which we have been using so far when we are writing functions or when we are writing programs using functions so what i have done here is i have declared an integer variable a with 25 and b with 10 what i am doing before calling the function called as add i am printing the value of a and b in main so here a should print as 25 and b should print as 10 then i am calling a function called as add and sending to add the values of a and b so a is replaced with 25 b is replaced with 10 this void add int comma int is the prototype of this particular function add a comma b i need to declare the prototype before i am calling so i can declare the prototype above main or i can declare it in main then what i am doing is in add a comma b i am trying to change the value of a and b and i am trying to print the value of a and b after changing it in this function called as add then when i come back to main function I am again trying to print the value of a and b and trying to see if the value of a and b has changed in main or not. So let's first try to run this particular program and then I'll go ahead and explain the outcome and output like that. So if you look here, the value of a and b in main is 25 and 10. So this is the output of this particular printf. So it's printing the value of a and b as 25 and 10. Then next what I am doing is I am passing 25 and 10 to the function add. Now what you need to understand here is the a and b in main are not the same a and b in the function add. The a and b are variables which are local to main and this a and b are local to this function add. So you can think of a and b here as the master copy the value sent to a and b here is the photocopy so if i change the value of a and b here it is not going to be doing anything in main because a and b here are local to add so i am adding 10 to a so a becomes 35 and 10 to b b should become 20 so based on that if you see this function add gives the value of a and b as 35 and 20 so I'll just enlarge it a bit so you can see. In main, I have had the value of a and b as 25 and 10. In add, I have had the value of a and b as 35 and 20. Now, what happens after this add is executed, I am going to come back at this particular point. Now, I'm when I'm printing the value of a and b in main, after going to add, the value of a and b in main will not change because a and b are local to main. So what will happen is here it's going to print simply the old values 25 and 10. So this method of passing the values from one function or in this case from the main function to add is called as pass by value or call by value. I am copying the value of 25 into another variable whose name just happens to be a. I am copying 10 into another variable whose name just happens to be b. This a and b are no way concerned with this a and b. They are absolutely two different memory locations. You can verify by printing the address of a and b here and you can print the address of this a and b here. You will see that the address of a and b in main is going to be totally different from the address of a and b in this add function. So anything you do with a and b in add is not going to affect the variable name a and b in main. I have purposely given the same name so that your concepts become crystal clear.